Welcome everyone. Oh, easy there. Welcome everyone. Adam Wu here. As the recording of this Monday, March 4th, 2024, file this episode under I have no idea what will happen throughout the course of the day. No real game plan. Got to run some errands. Starting off going downtown celebration. Going to get some Starbucks, piping hot caffeinated beverage from the Starbucks. Leaf blower. Later on, I got to go to St. Cloud. Going to having dinner with my parents. Probably off camera. Probably film a lot of stuff up to that point. But that's the progress of the day. Just a relaxing day, doing stuff. I'm inviting you to join me. Whatever the heck. be there with me just by watching right now. I appreciate it. Join me. Shall you? No overnight parking unless you're a resident from 10 to 6. I just, just noticed that. There's a, you know signs, signs everywhere, signs. That's a song. But I have parked my cart here and I'm noticing that this is becoming a glorified golf cart. Well, that's a real golf cart. Golf cart haven of sorts. Look at this motorcycle right here. Maybe coming from Bike Week. But there's also, look at this, there's a mini Mickey and Mini golf cart over here, which I have not seen this one around town. Pretty awesome. The golf carts aplenty are taking over. Celebration. That's a cute one. It is a really nice day out today. The sun is out. The sun has not been out recently in the last, I don't know, month or so. I mean, it's been out here and there, but as far as the weather goes, it's a little warm, it's a little breezy and nice, not too hot. Definitely not super toasty. Nice breeze in the air, but the sun is permeating. I think this it might have been, I mean, I've been around since, I've been in Florida more or less since November-ish. The longest probably, and I will be traveling once April starts, I'll be traveling the rest of the year. But I gotta say, I do not recall the Florida winters going this long. I mean, it's, it's pretty much spring now. Spring is, what, a week or two away? A lot of people out riding their bikes since the weather is nice. You got some bicycles over there. People out walking around, enjoying the day. I also am in that camp as well, just enjoying the day, having a nonsensical day with no plans. I have a lot of those. I have learned if you need to mail something out, not that I was mailing anything out, but if you have to mail something out, Better to wait till Tuesday than uh, Monday because everyone shows up on a Monday because the post office is usually closed on weekends, especially Sundays. I think some post offices are closed on Saturdays too, but they're all closed on, on Sundays. Also, I think in this bushel, this satchel of mail here, probably is going to be all the documents that I needed. I was kind of questioning a week or two ago about property tax and things like that. I think it's probably going to be in here. So I think the stuff is going to be clarified today. It is really nice out. It is a beautiful day. I think that's a song. Random observation. This light looks like it was upside down, like the upside down of like a top of like a automobile, like a Jeep. Or maybe that looks like Johnny Five. That looks like Johnny Five. Right? Johnny Five's head. Or you do that, and then let me spin it around. It's a little shaky. Top of a Jeep. A lot of people stop off at the bank over there too. Like they're real quick to run in and utilize the ATM. Everyone just pulls up real quick, runs to the post office or the bank. Flower update. I so here the other day when they were putting all these new fresh flowers in. Also the Fortuna Bakery up here. The clock is still not correct time. It is far from 3.30 p.m. Now Starbucks is pretty busy, so I might grab coffee elsewhere. New store hours. These are the new store hours here at Starbucks. All right, I opted for Fortuna Bakery coffee. They have a lot of delicious treats and desserts in here, but no treats for me, just uh, the treat of coffee persuasion. All right, got my coffee here. I always like, it's interesting how Fortuna has these very interesting cups here with the little 
the nozzle on there. I guess you put your straw in there, but you drink the coffee out of it. Yeah, I don't know what Starbucks was really, really busy today, so I'll go with different options. They also have coffee over at Cornerstone over there as well. I want to stop off real quick here at this house, which every holiday, not just Christmas, not just Halloween, the two big ones around town, but every holiday, they put all the decor up, decorating Easter, Valentine's Day just passed, and now they are all ready to rock for St. Patty's, which is what in less than two weeks? Yeah, less than two weeks to St. Patty's Day. The luck of the Irish. The rainbow there, the pot of gold at the end. They really do it up. This probably is the most festive year-round house celebration. I don't want to say it's the most festive house because during Halloween and Christmas there are others who might take it up a notch bigger than this, even though they do it up. But they do every single holiday as far as I can recall. All right, I decided to pop over here to the McDonald's. This McDonald's, I saw that the other day when I was going over to the Animal Kingdom event located just on the outskirts of that park. It's the drive-through. So I heard a rumor that they got rid of the bicycles that pedal powered the Golden Arches. Just notice, this is interesting, This the Golden Arch here. This is wood right here. From when you get up close, this is this wood here. I never noticed that when I've stopped off here and checked this place out and reviewed it before. And again, lots of foliage all along the sides. I'm heading around this way to see where the bicycles used to be. And as a helicopter goes by, I am here to confirm that they have removed the bicycles. There were three bicycles, well, two bicycles and like a another piece of machinery. Helicopter going by still. In front of the hedge arches. The arches of hedge, the, the foliage, arches of foliage, I should say. Golden arches. And the bikes were right down there. So I'm not sure, maybe they weren't working anymore. They have removed them and they put these old three planter boxes where the bicycles used to be. I remember when this opened in 2020, in fact, I came up here shortly after it opened, if not opening day, it might have even been opening day, give or take a couple days. And you couldn't go inside because obviously 2020, and I had to wait and order, mobile order, or I came out front and ordered and they brought my coffee out. And I did a little in-car in review of the, the coffee and I showed the exteriors. It took me a year, well, a year to be able to go inside after 2020, or maybe a few months, six months, but right here, you were able to come out here and use the bicycles, but the bicycles have been erased from existence, and I would imagine the little like power stations underneath there, maybe the plants are now powering up, solar powered, powering up the, the Mickey D's foliage arches. Yeah, but I really like this whole outdoor seating area. I don't know why I don't spend more time out here. Just like come out here, meet up with people, enjoy a, enjoy a snack or a coffee or whatnot. You just, this like a good little area. It's not too, not too far from my place either, a few miles. Really large golden arches there. I keep, I've said golden arches quite a few times, but yeah, there's also a little wet floor sign over there. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I'm in my car now. I didn't, I didn't take my golf cart over there. So they're doing a little maintenance on the power poles, the corner of International Drive and Highway 192 right by Old Town. They have double the, the crow's nest machineries. Oh man, Orange World looking pretty spiffy, preparing for the reopenings. Had a fire here about 11 months ago. Man, they repainted us, looking good. Still have the stuff outdoors for sale, but once it reopens inside, I'm sure they're gonna restock it with a lot of other items that have a more bountiful and plentiful inventory. And look at that fresh paint. Right over here where the movie rider building used to be, I showed it like maybe a week before they started tearing it down and in the process of them tearing it down. But they left the sign right here. You see the sign still there. Evidently you can leave a sign up so maybe the next business will utilize said sign. Take a look how that thing is leaning compared to the big orange, orange world over there. <laughs> The leading sign of Kissimmee. Not a tower, it's a sign. Look at that. That is like angling hard. I don't know, I'm fascinated by really dumb stuff. All right, I pulled over here on the corner of 535 and 192. 535 right there. 
a lot of old uh, abandoned motels that they've torn out the last couple of years. I stopped by this spot a month or two ago and I was just perusing around. I walked back here and I noticed that there was a boat dock back in the back that had tarps all over it and it looked like someone was occupying it. And I'm here to show that boat dock and homestead is gone. It burned down. The only reason I knew about this is someone told me the other day, Osceola County officer, stopped and said hello, I was driving my golf cart around celebration. And he goes, hey, I saw in your video that you showed this place out on 192. Just want to give you a heads up that not long after, a few days after you showed it, it caught on fire. So I'm here to give an update. There's also a tent out here. There it is right there. I don't know if what's going on with the tent, so I don't know if I want to get any closer, but yeah. Burn down. Little relics here. Those lamp posts are here from back when this used to be a resort, but the whole resort. Or not resort, but the motel. Long gone. I decided to walk a little closer. You know, one day this whole area, this will be gone. Oh, you can still smell the the charred fire smell. Yeah, one day this will all be gone, cleaned up. And this whole segment over here will be developed again with a lot of new stuff. A lot of broken glass right now. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, the next property over, so this used to have a huge fence around it with some old condos that were here sitting not in the best shape for years. They tore them down, took the fence down, all the construction left. You could just drive up in here, and now they have placed signs saying stay off the property in this very unpersuasive to stay off the property caution line and a concrete bucket right here. I don't think that's gonna stop anyone from walking back there, but I do see the sign. Last few months when I would go past here, I would just drive down that road, but evidently, I don't think that that caution tape is an official tape. It might be someone just placed it there that doesn't want anybody else going back there and seeing what their business is, but I'll abide by the, the signage. I do wanna drive down 192, I'm here at marker 12 drive down 192 to the next entrance to see what's going on. And here's the other entry point. No caution tape here. Used to be a pool right back there, but they filled the pool in. And while I'm over in this area, going from Kissimmee Celebration into Kissimmee and then down to St. Cloud on 192, gonna stop by the Pirates Island and give an update on this. This place has been closed for a couple of years now. You can see they have survey markers here with the, uh, the ribbons around the trees there. You got a ribbon around the tree there and they have mowed it. They have come in and like uh, took a brush hog or something and mowed it all down. I'm really surprised that they have not bulldozed any of this yet, but still sitting here. Since the last time I was here, I don't know, three, four, five, six months ago, they have reboarded up the, the, the doors there. I always love the pirate ship that sits right out front with the traffic all going by and everything. You see where the waterfalls were, and the, all the different holes through here, the probably 18 holes, probably two different nine whole golf courses. I used to work at a miniature golf course. This is a very interesting boarding up style. I don't think I've ever seen the boarding of a door quite that uh, in array like that, an array of boards boarding up that door, right? There must be a method to that madness. Must be. Yeah, again, just all that traffic is constantly flowing by here. 
Here's where you pick up your golf clubs and get your golf balls and everything. Oh, look at this. I didn't notice this last time I was here. There are skulls in the side of this rock right here. That is neat, right? Pretty good theming. It's quite the, uh, quite the descent down the side of that. Yep, yet another thing still sitting here. I wouldn't say it's prime real estate, but it's real estate. That's very similar to the little uh, stocks that you see at Magic Kingdom. No line to get a photo in these, though. And you got an active little strip mall over there. Okay, there was a boat over there in that corner. Showed that half a year ago or whenever it was, months ago when I was here. They put up a fence around this parking lot so you can't drive back in there anymore. Yeah, not too many active mini golf courses on 192 anymore. There's a couple, but a few of the ones from the early 90s, early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s are long gone and just either sitting empty or completely bulldozed. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, I could have slipped. Yeah, I veered off 192 over on the Parton Settlement. They are widening the two-lane road. It looks like it's going to be a four-lane road connecting with Lakeshore now. Got to go to downtown St. Cloud. They're pumping out or pumping in. Probably pumping out some water there. But they are widening. There is whole area of the Kissimmee St. Cloud area just growing considerably. Waiting for the light to change. Yeah, I think I'll walk around downtown St. Cloud for a few minutes. stomping ground. In fact, over there you can see peeking up over the roof line, the St. Cloud, Florida water tower. This is the first national bank stated right there. Used in a Superboy episode. They filmed down here when I was living down here in the 90s. The parsonage where my dad would preach at it's around the corner, which was where the preacher lived in the you know, church provided for him down there. He used to preach at the First Christian Church. Then years later, I had an apartment down here for many years, right up here. You know, I've mentioned this before and I've never been able to figure it out. Not, not this, but I also want to point this out. This is an old photo of downtown, the St. Cloud Ice Cream Parlor and Sundries. So they filmed a Superboy episode. They filmed a lot around Central Florida for the episodes of Superboy. But they also filmed a stunt for another, either a movie or a TV show that involved a van or and or truck that drove right down here, ramped off. I remember myself and a buddy or two were standing right over here. There was a little bit of a makeshift barricade, but that stunt took place, went awry, and the driver of the stunt vehicle careened into the side of this. And I don't know if it ever made into, into a production or what that production was. I've never been able to figure it out. That would have been mid 90s. Like the, the person that just yelled at me probably doesn't know either. But what I do recall about that is how it could have gone really bad 
and everyone who was watching the stunt take place where that car's kind of driving up could have been ran over by a, a stunt van. It didn't happen, thankfully. You can see through this fence. You can see over the fence, too. But you can see through the fence that they're putting a new foundation here for a new business or a new something or other. But this little shed shack-esque thing is going to be meeting its demise soon enough. This building has been down here as far as I can remember. There's only a small section of it left. Right there. You know, when I was thinking about where I was going to reside before I got my apartment a few years ago in Celebration right there off Market Street. Of course, now I bought a home. But prior to that, I thought about looking at downtown Orlando. I thought about looking at downtown Kissimmee. I even contemplated about moving back to down. I wanted to be near a downtown of some sort. And I thought about coming back down to downtown St. Cloud, but Celebration won out. I think I made the right choice, but I have a lot of... I have a lot of nostalgia and a very soft spot in my heart for this town. I used to live in the apartment right up there. That was my window. I got some little stanchions out here in the middle of the road. Now for a while they covered all this brick up with regular pavement. And then the, I guess the town kind of congregated together and voted to, I don't know if they voted, but somehow they got the brick back. They placed the brick back here, brought it back to the olden days. Yeah, I love downtown St. Cloud. Again, a lot of memories out here. Wow, side of the Hunter Arms not looking good. Ooh, that looks bad. Got the old St. Cloud Hotel up here. Give a little construction update on that. The original building, when everyone came here to purchase the land when the town first came into existence, all the landowners stayed here while their land was being made ready for them to move into. So the entire original inhabitants of the town lived in here, said to be haunted, if you're into that kind of thing. And it has been under a construction for years now. I just hope one day it reopens. I would like to stay in there. It was apartments for a little while. Also, the front of the city hall got a revamp. What the heck? That is not the same City Hall front facade that was here and looked like the last time I was down here, or at least paid attention to it. And this quote that I really like, it's really kind of hard to see now. They used to be like more of like a maroon reddish color, and now it's just a dull beige. Maybe they'll repaint it again. Let me live in my house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. Got a little small police substation down here. The clock is not telling the correct time. It is 5.06 right now. That clock says that it is, I don't know, between 3 and 4 o'clock with a minute hand on the 22. Clock is wrong. It's my new thing now, pointing out wrong clocks. Maybe I'm going a little crazy, but I do not believe that is the same facade. So back in the day, back in the 90s, my family was here in 91, the road would go all the way down New York Avenue, all the way down to the lakefront, and then they closed it with this. But this is a new facade. I have to wonder, is the St. Cloud Twin closed? Does not look open from here. This place has been open all the time. Does not look open from here. All right, I stand corrected. It is, in fact, open. It was just the way the, the, the front, the posters in the front just look, didn't look like there was any in there. The closer I got there were, it, it's open. It used to be called the Popcorn Palace in my day. St. Cloud Twin, I think that's what it's called now, called the Popcorn, Popcorn Palace. Also, St. Cloud also had the nickname, the Wonder City, right there on the drums. A lot of core memories. That apartment right up there. Right up there. Fisherman in the fridge. Right in here. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Nice. I always used to look at this building and thought it'd be a really cool business storefront. I just like the look of this little, one little chunk 
section here. It's available. Oh, I just stepped on a something. It's got a bathroom in there and everything. Yeah, this is right here off New York Ave. So you got the Hunter Arms. It's right there. The back alleys of St. Cloud. Now this building here was the original funeral home back in there. It's the back side of it. It's not used for that anymore, but yeah. A nice little Jeep over there. I told you today was just going to be a, a rather random day. There's this car show right here. Wait a second. Car show? In case you were wondering where the car show registration was. In case you were curious where maybe you were supposed to register your car for the show. If you needed to know some info on where your car was to be for the show registration, this is the spot right here. There's a wider angle car show registration. I don't know why I'm so. I don't know why I'm focusing on that. I should be focusing on this relic. If that still is utilized, that would be pretty dang awesome. Yeah, I have such a soft spot for St. Cloud from the years living in it. I got an STC tattoo. St. Cloud. Years ago, right here on the on my wrist. Oh, STC goodness. Many years ago, there used to be a Philly cheese steak place right here. And if you dressed up as a cow, stood out here with a sign for I think it was a half hour they would give you a Philly cheesesteak they did away with that though they did away with that after I don't know half a year I think too many people they were going out on the side of the road and probably doing things they weren't supposed to be doing in a cow suit and now the cheesesteak place is gone now it's a Mexican food place all right I'll pick up where I left off after a nice little catch up with my mom and dad and a little Homemade meal from my mom. I haven't seen him in a little while, so it'd be nice to catch up and and see him. All right, heading back home now. Back on 192. I passed this place a bunch of times. This is a hotel, I'm guessing, called Secrets Hideaway. I don't know if it's a normal hotel. I, I really don't 100% understand what it is. I would imagine it's not a normal tourist hotel. It's called Secrets Hideaway. Very interesting name. Located right here on Highway 192. Secrets Hideaway. Secrets. Secrets. Maybe it's just a regular hotel. Interesting. Secrets. I just always thought it was a very fascinating name. A hideaway of secrets. I mean, you can't judge everything by a name, but just a, I always found it an interesting name for a, a hotel on 192. <laughs> Pretty wild that Boston Market is closed. This Boston Market here, it's over near Planet Fitness. It used to be Office Max I worked at for five years. Just go to this Boston. It's a two place. I lived in an apartment over near here, and I lived in a house, one of the oldest housing developments in Kissimmee. I used to go to this Boston Market all the time. 
I think it closed a couple months ago. This was the drive-through. I never went to the drive-through. I always go in. And there's a lot of open stuff in Kissimmee. I know I'm kind of featuring and showing a lot of closed stuff because I have memories of a lot of these places. It's just fascinating to see a lot of those gone by the wayside. But there's a lot of there's a lot open, a lot of thriving in the area. Sometimes I'm just drawn to memories and things from my past that have gone by the wayside. I guess it's wow. Here's the inside. I can totally remember going in there, waiting in the line, and then sitting at a table in there. This is probably early 2000s. Brain is like harkening back to a different time. Wow. At least this one's closed. Sometimes just looking at a sign, you know exactly what it is. Kind of looks like a Dairy Queen sign, but it's not. It's a little bit shaped and lit differently for the Boston market. And back over there behind that Wells, what is now Wells Fargo, is that gym now that used to be Office Max that I worked at way back in the day. And over here at this 88 laundromat, I used to go get my checks cashed way before direct deposit. I would get paid, I think it was Thursdays, maybe Fridays, but I think it was Thursdays. I go over to this laundromat and get my check cashed. Ah, memories. It's late. All right, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. The vlog is over.